everybody, it's Bunny, and today we're gonna do a good old-fashioned shoe unboxing. I've got a pair of shoes right here, and I don't think we've done a shoe unboxing since Christmas when I did my uh, ballerina heel shoes. Do any of you guys remember that? I feel like those were like, <gasps> wow, and they had like a little ballerina that spun in them. I'll link you to that in case you missed it. Today we are going to do another wild, wacky, zany pair of shoes, which is by the same company that made the ballerina shoes, which is Irregular Choice. I got these from Dolls Kill. I love their shoe boxes because they're kind of like a shoe box, kind of like a shopping bag. It's like really convenient. Like I've been saying a million times, I'm going to New York. And so I'm kind of looking for like fun, different clothing items to wear while I'm there. And I saw these shoes and I was like, oh, gotta have them. Let's just open them up and take a look inside. And I already did put them on, wore them for a little bit, walked around in them for a little bit. So here they are. I guess they're technically called like the dino heels or these are supposed to be dinosaurs. But when I looked at this, I saw Godzilla and I thought, New York, because you know, wait, no, that's not Godzilla. That's the monkey. That's King Kong. Where are my memories? What does Godzilla do? Where, where's, where's he tearing up? I just saw these and I thought, oh my goodness, I'm going to be in a big city with like buildings and like, like monster dinosaurs, maybe on my feet. Perfect. This is the style that I got, which are kind of like these booty, booty. That always sounds funny when I say it, but they're like, um, almost kind of like gladiator sandal style shoes, but they are also kind of like boots, you know? And then they have like this little, and I actually didn't even notice this online. I didn't notice it until I got it, but there's like this little piece of fabric on the back that almost looks like a dinosaur's back, you know? What are those dinosaurs? Brontosaurus? No, brontosauruses look like the Loch Ness Monster. I really know nothing. But you know, the dinosaurs with the spikes on their back. This kind of looks like that, right? If you love the heel, but you're not that crazy about this style of shoe, they also have it in more of a strappy kind of sandal shoe, but it's fabric that those are made out of and it's like got dinosaur print fabric on it. I just felt like I've got a lot of black in my wardrobe. So I wanted to get these because I thought I could wear them more often. I got a size seven. I'm universally a size seven. Size seven fits in irregular choice. There was no like sizing problem or anything like that. They do take a little bit of practice to walk in. They're not as easy as I thought that they would be, but I told you guys a million times, like wedge shoes are a little bit harder for me to walk in. And I don't think that these are totally like wedges, but they do kind of have, are these wedges? Somebody let me know down below. It's more just kind of like a chunky heel. Here's my complaint. I will just say, okay, that the lining that they choose to line their shoes with, it looks amazing. It looks so awesome. This is like a very shiny gold fabric. And then the sole of the shoe, which I actually talked about this before with the ones that I unboxed at Christmas. It's really hard, I think, for you guys to see the detail in there, but there's like stars stitched on here. It's really metallic. Irregular choice is stitched on here. It's like several different types of fabric. There's like a floral fabric down there. It's cut with pinking shears. So it's got kind of like a jagged cut. I don't know. Can you guys see what's going on down in there? With this shoe, with this gold lining, this I believe is lame, which is a type of fabric that normally is used for like Halloween costumes or something. This is so so itchy, so scratchy when you put it on your feet, especially the part where the toes are down here. It's so itchy. I cannot imagine wearing these without socks. I don't know. I am in love with these shoes. I absolutely love that they're a statement piece. They're so eye-catching. They're so much fun. But I almost feel like maybe this is going to be a shoe that I wear more in the fall and the winter when it's kind of more practical for me to layer it with socks. I'm also going to 
gonna try and see if I can find some of the really colored ankle socks. The ones that almost feel like tights, the ones that are very, very thin. I think I have one pair right now that has like strawberries or gummy worms on it or something. And maybe I could get away with that really because it would just be like a pop of color that would match Godzilla back here, but it would not like go beyond the ankle and look like a sock sock. Despite the fact that it is really itchy, I am still absolutely in love with it. I just kind of wish that irregular choice. It kind of makes me question like, do they just make their shoes to be like looked at, like statement pieces or decorations, or are people actually supposed to wear them? I love looking at this really cool logo and stuff on the inside. And and I love looking at the fabric that it's gold, but I feel like as an actual comfortable clothing piece, it doesn't make that much sense, especially since it's on the inside of the shoe and when your foot is in it, people are not gonna be seeing the inside of your shoe. Like when I have them on, maybe you can see a little peep of the gold just at the toe, but it doesn't make any sense that all of these kind of like buckly things, which by the way are adjustable, so if you needed to, you know, tighten them or loosen them, you can do that but I just don't understand why they would like line each buckle strap across your foot with really itchy fabric, right? I just, I don't, I don't understand it. Despite the fact that this is kind of like an action figure, it is solid plastic, it feels like. So it feels like it's something that I can walk on, jump in. I don't think I'm talented enough to run in these shoes. I feel confident enough that I can like walk and not trip and fall down or something embarrassing like that but I don't think I'd be running very fast. They are a little bit heavy because this is solid plastic, but I'm glad for that. I would rather them be a little bit heavier and more sturdy than like hollow and kind of feeling like something that would break really easily. So I feel like they are made really well. I just want to stop somebody at a regular choice and be like, why do you do this? Why do you make the lining out of this kind of repulsive fabric. That's it, I always feel like these videos are super short, but I also really love doing them because they are some of the first videos that I started doing on this channel a million years ago when I started my YouTube channel. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you like shoe unboxings, give me a thumbs up so that I know to do more of them. I am quite a bit of a shoe collector still to this day. I just don't vlog every time I get a new pair of shoes, but I could start. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and for hanging out with me today. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyardgirl, same way it's spelled here. I don't do that. I normally do same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.